Hello, my name is Zach. Welcome to WhirlyTutorials.com, and this is a video on the basics of Photoshop. And right now, we're going to be talking about importing and the size of your documents. So, uh, the very easy way it, to import something is to go to that uh, specific file, right click on it, open with Photoshop, and you can get started this way, um, and it will open up. Uh, the document and the size in which your file that you just said to open, it'll open up to that size of that file. So <clears throat> the first thing it's going to do, because this, this is a um, camera raw image, it's going to open it up into camera raw first so that I can just bring it into Photoshop. So in this case, I'm just going to hit open image because I don't really want to edit that right now. And um, <clears throat> so as you can see, my ruler is already up. You can toggle this by going to Command or Control R, and it will bring in that ruler. Um, personally, I leave that on almost all the time. And right now it's in pixels. If I right click on the ruler itself, I can change it to inches. So this image is a, around 23 inches by about 14, 15 inches. So uh, it's a big picture. and um, you need to be aware of that. And the reason I say that is because if you happen to go to, uh, let's say you go to the internet, okay, and you want to get any kind of file, like a, a paper or whatever. So I'm going to search for paper texture. I'm going to go to images. And I'm actually going to go to search tools and make this large. So we still are going to be able to see uh, the most large images. So again, we're looking at this and it is about 5,000 pixels uh, to anywhere. I think it's like 34,000 or 3,400. So we're going to go to Google. And the biggest we got is uh, 3,800 by 2,592. Um, and that may not even be the kind of texture that you want. Let's say you want to use this one. Well, you're at 5,300. So that's that's pretty close. So the dimensions, the size of your documents is really, really important. Um, however, if you were to want to use this, you would have to go into the actual image and uh, you know follow the the basically follow the track there and get the the actual size because if I if I were to click and drag this off as is and I take a look at it on my desktop command I then it is only 268 pixels by 188 pixels so if I want to get the larger size then I'm going to go in here I'm going to click on this and then as you can see here full size image it's eight times larger so I'm going to click on it and it's going to take forever to load because it is a really, really big image, um, and it's going to slowly, uh, it's going to slowly load. And then, but once it does load, and you see the full size, that is what you click and drag off um, in order to use it in your document. Okay. So right now, I'm just going to use this really small one to illustrate what I'm talking about. I'm going to open up Photoshop. And another way you can get your images into Photoshop is simply grabbing that image and dragging it in. So there's a different way uh, that you can that you can uh, import your images into your document. So once I've imported it, I have to place it. So you see this X right here. At this point, I cannot do anything. Okay, I cannot modify it. I can't uh, get my selection tool. I can't do anything other than move this around and size it up and rotate it. So let's say that we are going to try to use this. I'm going to size this way up. You can already see that it's super pixelated. And in order to place it, I'm just simply going to hit enter. It does clean it up a little bit. Um, as you're sizing, it's going to pixelate. But there is no getting around that this is a really, really crappy looking image. And that is only because of the size. And I didn't go all the way through and get the full size image. So uh, that is good to know on how to import. Uh, the third way you can import is go to File, Import Images from Device. And uh, actually, Images from Device is uh, like if you have a camera that's attached to your um, to your computer, then that's what you can do is import that way. So 
Obviously the easiest way is simply just to click and drag it in there and modify it however you want. So that is a really quick overview of how to get your photos in there and also to be aware of the size of the image that you're importing. Uh, in the next video, we're going to be talking about cropping and the crop options. So if you have any questions about any of this kind of stuff, be sure to check out whirlytutorials.com and facebook.com forward slash whirlytuts.